Hi everyone. Today we're going to do an instrument approach into um, Aspen County, uh, Aspen Pitkin County Airport, um, and leaving from McElroy Airfield um, at the top here. So we'll be leaving from here. Uh, we'll be heading towards this VR, this one here, um, which has a frequency of 113.8. And then you see these these blue lines. These are sort of these pathways or airways. So we'll be going away from this VR on a bearing of 231 until we cross this point here, where we're at a, a heading of um, zero degrees away from this VR. And that's this frequency here, 109.2. So these are frequencies that we're going to have to key in. And then um, we'll be going along this 196 radial away from that VOR until we basically are somewhere in the middle there. And this is where um, we switch to the approach chart. And the approach chart says that if we're coming from um, this 109.2, which is this frequency over here, um, on a radial of 196, at some point we can intercept um, a radial of 151 into uh, the localizer, which has a frequency of 111.15. This is this is the localizer DME um, of uh, Aspen Pitkin County. Um, so so uh, once we're on this, we'll be on our final leg, and and we should be aligned properly for the airfield, and uh, we should start then our descent. And you can see that this tells us um, pretty much how to descend. Uh, it's quite a steep um, 6.5 degree descent because there's mountains all around. It's one of the most um, dangerous sort of airports to land at in the USA. So I'm gonna just uh, try it to see how how good it is and hopefully have a bit of fun. Um, okay, so that's it. So um, let's remember then, 113.8 is uh, the Kremlin um, uh, VOR at McElroy Airfield. We're going to be going on a radial away from that at 231. Um, then we're going to intercept a radial of zero outgoing from 109.2, which is SXW. And then we're going to go out of that on a 196 bearing until we intercept the 151 uh, to 111.15. All right. So what I'll do now is um, basically go into the flight simulator and and we could try and key in all of that. Okay. So let's start. Let's just put a close up of our instruments. All right, so the first thing is that first Kremlin um, VR. So basically it's 113.8. So let's just, uh, we're almost there. So 113.8, we make that active. Um, and then the next VR is 109.2. 109.2. Make that active. What we're going to do is um, go to our um, our display here and go to PFD, and bearing one will make that go to um, nav one. So the first, uh, so that's that uh, um, uh, Kremlin um, uh, VOR, and then bearing two, we're going to have that go to nav two, which is SXW, and and here you can see. Well, here they both pointing at around the same direction, but there's a light blue thin arrow and then a thicker double line arrow uh, pointing to uh, NAV2. Right, at the moment our CDI is pointing to GPS, so we don't want that. Um, we, we're just going to go, well, while I'm here, I'm just going to put on the wind. So there's uh, a five knot wind um, coming in from uh, just ahead of us, so from the west. Um, and then let's just go back, um, back, our CDI, our VOR1, so basically our, um, this is our course deviation indicator, is pointing to VOR1, which is the thin blue line, or uh, that first um, VOR at Kremlin. All right, what I'm going to do as well is we see that we're at an altitude of 7,420. Um, if we remember um, from, well, let me just... Let me just show it again. 
um, from um, from yeah fr as as we enter this 151 radial they suggest that we need to be at a height of 13,400 so we'll just key that in as where we want to be as we fly out um, and, and that's because there's mountains you see there's something at 11,300 here so we need to be above 13,000 pretty quickly um, to avoid to avoid all these problematic things well actually this line brings us away from that mountain so that's good um, all right and also point to note is that the elevation of Aspen um, Pitkin County is at 7837 so that's something that we need to remember as well all right so back in here let's just go and set our altitude um, to be at 13.4 Go. Um, great. All right, I think we're ready. So we're 4.8 miles away from that beacon. Um, so McElroy, we're going to fly in a sort of westerly direction. All right, good. So let's take this baby off. Um, nice and snowy landscape all right once we're at seven seven we can pull in the flaps okay we're going a little bit high all right what i can do is um i'm gonna switch off this uh um the second bearing so that we actually just see this blue line. All right, so. What I'll do first is bring my bearing to the blue line so that we go directly there. We can switch on heading, switch on the autopilot, and then ask for vertical speed to go up okay that's good okay, heading so now we're heading directly to that VR are we gonna make this mountain that's doubtful right And then our first, our first um, direction was to go from a, a course of 231. So I'm going to switch this. Course of 231. So let's recap. So we're about 1.2 miles away from um, that first uh, VOR. 
once we're on it, we can actually just tell um, tell the autopilot to go away on a course of 231, away from the VOR. Um, and that is just following, instead of the heading, that will be following um, nav1. So, so let's just do get ready for that. We can already do it. So now we'll see that because we're almost right on top of it, we are now going to turn. And the CDI, basically this stands for course deviation indicator, and that's this this green line needs to align with the green arrow um, to show that we're perfectly aligned um, on our course from a particular VOR. Okay, well. All right, so now we're pretty much aligned. What I'm gonna do is click once here so that we can do a trick of actually following the heading now that we're aligned so that I can now concentrate on um, VOR2 um, which we're going to bring back up here and this point SXW we want to be at a course of zero from that so now we're going to change um, the course of that so let's go back CDI to VOR2 and a course of zero which is fine for us um, so as we get closer to that point we'll see that the green lines will now match up and that's when we need to follow now VOR2 um, on a course of not zero, but but the opposite of zero, which is 180. So let's change that. So here we can we can put that to 180, and that's towards the VOR. Okay. All right, so we can see we're flying away from that first one and we're flying sort of towards the second one, but um, what we want is to fly towards the the second VOR SXW on a on a one on a course of 180 towards it or zero away from it. But um but uh, 180 towards it. And we're getting close. So this green line here should start going down soon. Just going to reduce my altitude. Okay, here we can actually see this uh, green line now starting to go down. So when it reaches that second point here, it would be a good moment to start um, uh, telling the autopilot to use nav. Nav will then go towards VOR2 on the course of 180. So we're all set up. So when, you know, you need to do it a little bit before so that it reacts properly. So I'm going to click on it now. And now it's going to start turning. And if it overshoots, uh, then it will re uh, correct automatically. And you see, it seems like we're going down this down this uh, valley with the river. All right, now we need to prepare ourselves. So we need to go back to heading so that we can prepare our next um, our next navigation uh, point and course.
Okay. So now I'm going to press heading again. go heading and when we get to the actual um, uh, SXW VR then what we need to do from then on let's just remind ourselves um, from what we saw earlier on um, we we need to go so we are on the path of um, we are on the zero here. Once we reach it, we need to go off on a direction or a radial of 196 away from it. And that's where we start intercepting this. So 196 is what we have to remember, away from it. And then we also need to remember 151 and 111.15. Um, and, uh, All right. So let's try that. All right, so here I'm on heading, so I can change the course. The course is 196. One nine six. That's when I get to zero. I'm going to try to go away from it at 196. And then we can then forget about um, this particular VR because we've used it completely. So what I want to do is go back to nav1 and key in... Um, 111.15 which is the Aspen County um, uh, VOR, the localizer. So at the moment I don't have any data for it because we're far away still, but at least it's prepared for it. So now we need to watch out for this. As we get closer and closer and as we pass it, um, we should, we should, well let's, let's just put our heading really towards the blue arrow so that we go straight to it. As we go past it, then we want to head off away from it at 196. Which is going to be in the direction of the green arrow here. Again, I mean, it's such a such a lovely, lovely landscape. All right, we're we're almost on top of it, so it's almost time to actually press nav again, and to make the autopilot follow um, that bearing away from it at 196. So now it's turning, and it's going to try and line us up. Okay, that's a bit too much. Okay, no, that's fine. So now we're on top of it. And it... It wants to go nav now. And now it will align us away from the VR on a course of 196. As soon as that's fine, then I'm going to go back to heading. To, to keep us heading in that direction and then I'm going to set up um, the, the next VOR so this is this one so this one's picking up now this is the um, our landing field at Aspen Pitkin 25 miles away and I want to come in at um, 151 so I need to wait until this is aligned properly then use the heading to point in that direction, 198, or it's 196 normally, but let's say with the wind, it's 190. Okay, let's just do it. So, um, so let's just do 199, make it point to the heading, 
and then I'm going to change the CDI back to VOR1, which is this one. This is a localizer. And I'm going to change, uh, well, it's already got a course of 151. So as this, uh, we're actually quite close. So as this is close, now I'm going to go back to nav so that now uh, our plane can turn and do the final leg of um, aligning up to um, Aspen County on a course of 151. All right, so if we look outside the plane, we can't see much. What about as a pilot? We're just above the clouds. Um, so let's carry on with instruments. Um, so here it's going to align itself 151 towards this particular VR, so we can forget about SXW now. And now it's a, a, a question of um, the approach and managing our descent properly. So we're at 13.4. Let's just go back um, uh, to what we looked at before. So what's important here is to is to look at um, is to look at uh, this. Okay, so at thirteen point one miles, we are at thirteen point four, and then at ten point nine, we need to do a check to see if we're at twelve thousand nine hundred. At nine miles, we should be at twelve three. 7 miles at 11 and then this is our decision point um, uh, where we we should do a turnaround if we can't see anything remember that the airport elevation is at 7837 um, so do remember all that <laughs> 12 9 so at 13 miles I start going down at about a 6.5 degree Let's see our miles here. So we're at 17 miles. So at 13 miles, we should start um, going down. So let's look at that. Do we have any visibility? We don't, right? We're just hoping that it's all nice and correct. Okay, 15. We can start slowing down. I'm going to cut the throttle down until we get to 120 because we're going to go down fast so we better have our better slow down first 14.1 at 125 I'll put our first level of flaps on 13.1 13,400 um, okay good I can put the flaps out Let's have a look outside. Okay, we can not make out anything yet. All right, so we should start descending now. So let's let's look at. Um, we want to be at at twelve thousand. Well, let's go a little bit lower and start our. Our descent one thousand. Oh, yeah. We can go down to to a lot long lower. So eleven point four at ten point nine. We should be at twelve nine. Looks like it will be approximately there. Um, oh. so 
seven, seven, so what? Seven, eight, so let's put it down to eight, 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 just a thousand uh, above, and let's, let's see it go down. Here on the readout, you can see that the airport is starting to show, but I think I've got no visibility in real. We can see nothing. So let's carry on. So at nine miles, at nine miles, we should be at 12.3. Looks like it will be sort of correct. Maybe we increase it a slight notch. going down fast enough so I'll just decrease a bit more okay it's seven miles 7.1 we should be at 11.7 ah we're fine now can we see anything still nothing And Look, still nothing. But we're doing well still. have data but it's right there so let's go let me take over okay we start seeing something Runway lights.
Oh, that was scary. Jeez. Hope you enjoy that and uh, see you next time.